And now here we go with some Shangri-La gameplay. And this is my first time we're playing. I just downloaded it. When I made this video, I downloaded it a couple minutes ago. I downloaded it like at 8.30 in the morning. And now, I'm posting the video now because I want to play it a little bit. I recorded a lot of videos and some NCAA football 12 videos. And now here's my first playthrough of Shangri-La. The zombie map for Map Pack 3. And I'm going to be coming out for some, some more Shangri-La gameplays. And some online gameplays too. Of the new, each one of the new maps I'll have a gameplay for. So I'm just letting you guys know that. And this this map's sick. I really do like it. With the whole monkey thing. And how you have to stand on all those things to open up the Pack-A-Punch. Which is pretty cool. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. In this video I only get up to the box though. Which is not too good. Now there's the monkey. As I just took a look at him there. I'm, I'm just really trying to explore everything. I want to get Quick Revive first. That's the most important thing. Is Quick Revive. Because if I get downed, then I'll, I'll be able to get... It, the Quick Revive will pick me back up. Which makes it the most important thing in this game. No doubt. But really, I don't really know any much people who got this map pack, though. Only a couple of people got this map that, that I know, but it probably didn't get a lot of sales, though. And look at that monkey just sitting there. I should have killed him. I don't, I don't think he took a perk, though, but I really should have. And I, I don't know. I... I'm just like kind of trying to survey around this whole place in my first playthrough. Then I get two other playthroughs with some random people who are some pretty cool kids. And I just get some playthroughs with them. So, that I I tried playing solo once and it, I just didn't get that far. So, it wasn't that fun. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it that way then. I just wanted to do it um with some random people because I didn't know anyone who got the map packs yet and I don't really know anyone who, who got the map packs but the game's fun entertaining so and I want I want some new zombies that's really the reason I bought the map pack and I can't wait for NCAA football 12 to come out July 12th and just let you guys know I won't be posting any videos from June 30th to July 4th around then to July, July 5th, because July 5th is my birthday, so I won't be posting vids on then, on that day. So from July 30th to July 5th, because from July 30th to July 4th, I will be on vacation. And on July 5th is my birthday, so I'm probably, I'm, I'm not going to post any vids. So you won't, ex don't expect anything in that time span. And don't expect, maybe while I'm there, I might just go on the computer and maybe post like an update or something. You know, but not, probably not though. It's no point. Yes, insta kill. I got so many points now. Insta kill, double points. And I, I really need to. Um, I can't wait to play some insta play. I, I can't wait to put up some more insta play football twelve demo videos. I'm gonna put up today. I'm gonna finish Oregon, and later, later today, we are afternoon in the night. I will be posting. Um, Florida State versus um, Alabama. I will be posting that gameplay, and then um, I'll be posting some more Strangula and Black Ops. So until NCAA Football 12 comes out, we'll be just be basically be posting WWE, um, some LA Noir, um, some Black Ops, and. Just a demo for today, but I'm not going to post any more demo videos. Maybe some more if I find some other things to put up, but I don't really know what else there is to put up here, though. I, still really, I don't really see a purpose in putting up some more demo videos. If I find, like, a good idea to do, then I will. But, but by the time I do that, it'll probably be time for the Dance of Football 12 demo to come out. And there's no minute release for around where I am for Dance Football 12, so I'm going to be going early in the morning, right when GameStop opens. So expect um unboxing for NCAA Football 12 in the morning of, but I'll post a video the day the during the day before or the night before, 
to let you guys know that I will be having an unboxing, probably during the day, so most of my viewers can see it, but I'm just letting you guys know that I will be having an unboxing, that's what I'm going to let you guys know, the day before, on July 11th, then I'm going to have an unboxing for NCAA Football 12 to watch that, and that day I'll be posting Road to, Glo uh, Road to Glory vid, a start for Road to Glory, and a start up for Road to Glory, and a start up for NCAA, um, for, and for Coaching Carousel. I'll, I'll have two videos. I'll have two videos to start off my channel that day. Maybe some, like, one game for each, maybe. And I'm going to be start off as an offensive coordinator, though. Maybe. I don't want to disclose that. Just let you guys find out when you watch my videos and what positions I'm going to go for in my for my two positions. You guys are just going to have to find out. So now I'm going over to the... I'm about to go over to the box. Here we go. I'm going over to the box now. I'm going to get so unlucky here. Watch. Oh, like the sniper. Are you kidding me? But actually does work pretty well. Is that the no scope? This time? But it doesn't work well now as I get downed. And I'm just going to shoot. This is, it shoots like pretty sick. It shoots that when you're down. I went on solo. But I'm back up now. I thought I can get the box, but I couldn't. Now what I'm going to do is just camp here. And snipe them for this round. Because they still walk pretty slow. And I could still snipe them. Then I need to get a good gun. Like look at that. Just sick. Like I'm just a monster. Just sniping them right now. Nothing they can do about it. Oh man. Just doing really good here. I think... In a little bit, or after this, when the round ends, I'm going to go hit the box. I'm, I think I'm going to go hit the box now. I'm deciding, and now I'm about to go hit the box. No, no, guess not. Thought I was going to hit the box. Oh, there we go. Some more zombies to shoot. I'm just raping with my sniper. Now I'm going to hit the box. And I'm going to get an RPK. I think kind of glitched there a little bit though. But I don't care as long as I get my RPK. Don't want to waste the ammo though. So I'm just going to stay with my sniper for right now. I'm not really used to these Black Ops commentaries though. Because it's like my first one. It's like my... One, two, no one. My... It's my, I think my second Black Ops commentary, surprisingly, um, surprisingly, it's my second Black Ops commentary. I didn't really think it was, though. And it's kind of slow up until this point now. Some zombies are going to start coming. And they're going to start coming full blast, full load. After this round, it's going to get intense. With all these zombies coming, it's going to get pretty intense now. And I, I think I'm going to try to snipe for a little bit, but it's going to get way too intense for me to snipe. And eventually I'm going to have to, um, what's really cool about this is how you can also, there's no power, like, like there's power, but it doesn't go through electricity. The power goes, um, you have to release the water. And it's hydro power, basically. Which is pretty cool, because I don't think, oh, got to get the bomb, Yes. That was nice. But now they made it where it doesn't really kill that many zombies. I'm going to try to hit the box. Oh. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. This is the Jigga Man signing out.